Welcome back, everybody to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy, Gaming and in this episode, um, we are probably going to go out and about and just hit some random POIs, uh, see if we can get some more research data. Uh, it is Horde night. It is, it's Horde day night, uh, so we're going to drop off these darts um, along the way and make sure we're all good to go so we can just run up to the Horde base when the time comes for the Horde Knight to start. So let's go ahead and did I make some more 7.62 ammo? I certainly did, or I am doing. Um, so we'll grab that out of there as we typically will do. Let's grab some 5.56s so we have those as backup ammo. We've got a pretty decent amount of shoddy shells right there. We will grab our... Uh, where's our... Our rifle. Oh, we already have the FAR in our inventory. So we're good to go there. Okay. Um, and by the way, yes, I am back from my trip. I was gone all last week, for those of you who didn't know. And uh, so that's why um, I'm late in getting a new episode out to you guys. But I am back and should be back for the next three weeks. I got one more trip at the end of April. And then after that, I should be back <clears throat> to normal life for several months before I have to travel again. So looking forward to that. Anyway, okay, so we have a hunting knife in here. I don't know what the heck that came from. Um, we have 189 research data, so that's what, what we really need to be working on. Uh, let's take a look and see what we have for meds. Uh, we already have 20 first aid kits, so we're in pretty good shape for meds. So we got pills, we got herbal antibiotics, we got vitamins, we got one thing of steroids. Uh, let's grab a couple more of those. And I don't think we really need any of that stuff for Horde Knight. Uh, we are going to save that sort of thing, though, for when we go uh, do the next Tier 5. Uh, let's take an eye candy for the end of Horde Night. Rock Busters. We'll take some Skull Crushers. And some Oh Shits. Okay, how are we doing on food, by the by? We have four Sham Chowders and some Mineral Water. Is there anything in here? Nothing cooking up in there. Got some Shepherd's Pie and Spaghetti's in there. That's a really good food. Some of the best in the game, as a matter of fact. Uh, why don't we top ourselves off with a pumpkin pie? And then uh, we should be good to, to go food-wise. Okay, so let's grab the rest of this ammo out of here. Uh, this still has five more minutes, so we don't have time to wait for five more minutes, so it's just going to have to be good enough. We do have repair kits, right? Yes, okay, so if we need those, we're in good shape. How's our armor look? Armor is in very good shape, so I must have a recently repaired that oh you know what we need our pipe bumps please tell me i have pipe bumps i don't have any pipe bumps that sucks um okay we definitely need pipe bumps for the horde night in fact i'm super low on gunpowder too my goodness what have i been doing um okay let's see we're gonna need Gunpowder and pipes. This is the new Kim station. Let's get some wood in it. We might not we might not have time to get out and do much before the horde night starts. Alright, how much of this can we make? Lots. Let's just make a thousand for now. It'll take 33 minutes. That's close enough. Okay, now, do we have pipes? We... Oh, we do. Okay, good. That's good. Okay. So, let's, um... Let's grab a hundred... Well, we, yeah. hundred pipes. If we can get a hundred gunpowder, which we can. Okay, so we can make a hundred more pipe bombs. That'll probably be sufficient um, for for the Horde Knight. Because we're not going to... We're going to go real crazy with them either so 11 oh wait what it all oh, right it takes more than it's not one gunpowder per okay well right forgot about that or right, i'm gonna have to get some more gunpowder going all right i'll tell you what you guys and i think i'm gonna just i'm gonna cut the camera here and do what i need to do to get ready for horde night and then maybe we can hit a couple of really quick small POIs before the Horde Night starts. So we'll bring you guys back when we're ready to do that. So we are at the Horde base. Um, let's go ahead and load up all of this ammo here. 
Probably doesn't matter what slot they're all in. And we'll get that done. Um, I, I did make some titanium plates, and I forgot to bring those up here, so we're going to have to go back and get those. Uh, but let's take a look and see what else we have. So we, we have 110 pipe bombs, which should be adequate. Uh, we got plenty of electrical parts, and we could maybe stand to bring a little more iron plating over. We, we're, we're good on steel plating and concrete mix and that stuff. Just put a couple extra stacks of those in. So, yeah, it looks like all we really need to do is bring over some more titanium plating. And then we should be in pretty good shape. Um, So, let's go get that. And then we'll... We might be able to hit a really, really small POI very close by before the Horde Night starts. Okay, let's grab all this titanium... It just barely gets us overweight, but we could put a couple in Roberta the Robotic Drones inventory if we needed to. Okay, let's put this stuff in here, and um, we should be good to go. So we'll head back down, and let's just find a small POI nearby that we can go raid, and if we're really lucky, maybe get a little bit of research data before the Horde Night starts. Problem is, just about everything around here we've already hit. Um, have we completely gone through that blue house? Or even that apartment building there? That, I don't know. The apartment building's probably gonna be a little more than we have time to do. I have no idea if we actually did this house or not. So let's, um... My senses have picked up something. Oh shit. Yeah, this door is open, but that doesn't mean we've been through here. It could have been just been a zombo that unlocked it and yeah that trash pile had not been looted that's not lootable oh okay okay um Zombo? Nope. I don't see our crossbow bolt. There's a book. We like books. Um, then we'll just scrap, I guess. Could be a zombo in that closet. Little hidden thingy behind a picture. There's three charges in there. Um... Well, let's grab one at least. Okay. Nothing behind there. Look at that. Sneaky sneak shot time. Probably zombos in there. We can recover this crossbow bolt. And there's a lootable item there. What time is it? It's uh, 19.35. Okay. What's in here? Backpack, shotgun parts, and aloe vera cream. Very nice. Um, just so we can get out of here quickly, let's completely open this up. Okay.
Irradiated Big Mama. That's dangerous. Um, where is... Where's Roberta? Here. You need to go to... Quiet mode. Okay. I don't understand why Roberta doesn't stay in quiet mode all the time. Okay, so there's a Zeke there. A Zeke there. Alright. I don't really want to waste my explosive ammo right now because... Let, this guy is a guaranteed one-shot kill, whereas if we hit her, we're not going to kill her. So, of course, we're probably going to have more than just these two anyway, so let's just do it and see what happens. Oh, is it just her? Eat some buckshot, big mama. There we go. That's the way it wants us to go. A little something there. A little something there. Nice. We got some sham. We'll always take sham. Okay, that's about all there is there. Hidden picture. There's something behind that thing. That thing there. I'll be behind here. Nope. Okay, that's lootable. Meds. Sink. Trash. We're not supposed to go this way, but we are. We're running out of time here. That's irradiated uh, Arlene. Okay, time to go. Okay, I think we're ready to head up. Could have stayed a, a little bit longer, but I, I still need a, a few more moments to get situated and get my toolbar arranged and all that too, so. Let's not cut it too close. We don't need to, so we don't need to. Let's not do it. Okay, so let's see. We don't need uh, this. We don't need... Uh, yeah, let's keep the sniper with us. Uh, we'll put the repair thingy in there. We don't need the axe or the pick for tonight. We will instead put those there. We don't need the shovel or the kniffy. Uh, we'll put the molotovs there. Uh, probably the painkillers can go here. We'll keep the, um, actually, no, I want to put the, oh, shits on the toolbar in case we have to bail off the building. Um, very unlikely that we'll have to do that, but you never know. We'll grab half of the titanium. Uh, I was going to get some more iron plating, but that should be enough to get us through the night. Uh, we'll grab a little bit of steel, a little bit of concrete. Don't think we need any of the rest of this stuff. Can we carry all of the titanium with us? Oh, no. We're already a little too heavy. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's cut that in half. Cut those in half. Um, guess we'll cut those in half, too. I don't mind if I'm a little bit encumbered, but I don't want to be super encumbered. You are just going to probably get in our way. So we're going to put you away, too. Okay, I think we're ready for the Horde Night, ladies and gentlemen.
Everything should be fully repaired. And we should be ready to rock and roll. And we got a, a little bit of very, very minor damage, but nothing that I'm too worried about. So, yeah, this base has just been phenomenal uh, for this whole playthrough. Well, you know, not the whole playthrough, but since we started using it. Um, and I did, excuse me, in the last, I don't know if it was the last episode or one of those episodes, I did shore it up a little bit after the last Horde Night too. so it's it, it could use more work, but I think it'll be adequate, you know, to get us through this Horde Night anyway. And I do need to give it a little bit more TLC, though. Never have reloaded that guy. I just never think to do it. Okay. Well, let's wait for the monsters to come, and then we'll take them out. All right, guys. Um, I am so irritated with myself right now, I could just spit. <laughs> I did my um, my classic mistake that I do on occasion where I thought I was recording and I wasn't. And so I did the whole entire freaking horde night without the recorder running and didn't realize it until the morning. So the good news is that we survived um, and everything was going absolutely easy peasy lemon squeezy until... The dart trap set off a demo, which caused the demo to blow up um, at that point on the ladder and blow up the ladder, which meant the horde could no longer get up to us. And as a result, uh, and this happened probably about 1.30 in the morning, I'm thinking. Uh, and as a result, the horde uh, then just, you know, started tearing up on the on the building. And so, you know, they got up on onto some of these floors here and tore a bunch of shit up. But, you know, end of the day, we survived, or end of the night, I should say, we survived. The building held up. It's going to need some work. We really need to shore this thing up. Um, and what I what I've decided to do is just is just continue on. Um, I do make backups of my game, and I could reload the backup, but uh, I've you know I've lost like two hours of recording footage in real life as a result of that. And I just don't have, have time to go, you know, to go back, um, at this point. So we're just going to proceed from here. You guys have seen, you know, me do this horde night in this base, you know, multiple, multiple times. And, um, if you happen to be watching my, this video for the first time, uh, you know, just go check out my last, you know, two or three horde nights, uh, in the the playlist and you'll you'll basically see that this base is extremely effective in fact this is the very first time as far as i'm aware that we actually lost the ladder on the base and i think it's because of the dart trap i think it's the darts that set them off because there's no other reason really for the for the demo to blow up you know halfway up the ladder uh, unless the dart hit the demo at that point in time so you know, I'm going to have some repairing to do, you know, to, to fix all this up. Um, so I'll probably take, you know, at least a solid in-game day at some point. Um, well, at some point in the next seven days uh, to, to get this, you know, fixed back up and get the building short up. So uh, all that to say, I, I apologize for those of you who are a little disappointed that you couldn't see, you know, Horde Night 154. But uh, honestly, at least until the demo blew up the ladder. It was really just wash, rinse, repeat, you know, the, the same as it's gone for the last many, many horde nights that we've done. Okay. So, um, we don't really have a, a ton of time left in this episode either. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to hit a random, we're just going to do a, a smaller random POI to finish this episode out. However, it is my intention to, do the, um, here, actually, hold on. Let's go over this way. Uh, our, our next big goal is to hit the, the Shamway factory. Cause I have not done the Shamway factory in alpha 20 yet. So it's going to be new to me, which is exciting and looking forward to doing that. And if all goes well, then we will start that in the next episode. Uh, this is the loot that I got too, by the way. So 
We got another um, A-level jackhammer. I have not yet compared this yet to our current jackhammer, uh, but that's a, a very nice, uh, very nice piece actually. Uh, we got some hazmat boots. We got this Eliana's map, an old key with a small map wrapped around it. it has a spot vaguely marked with a red X. Backside of the map says Eliana's stash. I remember doing this once before. This is an undead legacy thing, not a, a vanilla thing, and I don't remember exactly what's different about it. Um, so we'll take a look at that at some point, uh, but let's put the rest of this stuff up in here. We got a, a pretty nice pair of military leg armor, and then, you know, the rest of the stuff is just, you know, fairly basic loot that we got there. Okay, so let's put all that stuff up there, and actually I need to also redo my toolbar a little bit. Um, I guess we'll keep that with us. We still have, you know, quite a bit of explosives left because once the ladder broke, then I, you know, then I couldn't quite reach the zombos like I normally would be able to do. Well, we got three, well, I had two levels to start the Horde Knight with. Let's actually drink this right now. Um, And then we got another level during the Horde Knight. So I put a point into... Uh, sh a boomstick, and I put a point into pain tolerance. Now, why? Why? Okay, what the hell, man? Why have we lost a point in for fortitude? Oh, you know why? Oh. Oh, crap. Okay, I, I had eaten... A sham chowder right before the horde night started, which gave us effective seven. I didn't even realize that, so, which means those two points we just spent aren't doing us any good until we can get this to, you know, get this up to to seven, right? Doesn't this have to be seven or yeah? It's already at six. But why does it show a plus there then? What? I'm confused. We should have the plus on seven for fortitude. Do these only require six? Is that what's going on here? Healing factor requires fortitude level seven. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, but it's the sham chowder that screwed me up on that. If we eat this one... Because if you guys didn't know this, you get um, plus one to fortitude while you have sham chowder going. And I just kind of forgot about that. Hmm. So what I don't understand, though, is why now all of a sudden I have an effective plus seven when before I had a, a plus five. So it's like it gave me two points. What am I missing here? <laughs> I don't understand because we only have five fortitude. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Of course, we'll, we'll be fine. Okay. So like I said, let's just hit for the rest of this episode. Let's just hit a real small POI because you know, we don't have enough time to, to do much else. And again, I apologize guys for, um, not recording the horde night. It wasn't intentional, but sometimes shit like that just happens and, Trust me, I'm very irritated with myself that it did happen, but it is what it is, right? You know what? Let's leave this behind, too, because we have almost two full stacks of 7.62 for our M60, and I've got a couple of repair kits. We'll take um, the pipe bombs and the Molotovs with us because uh, we might need them. You never know. And let's just go find a small POI. And, you know, we, we need research data like there's no tomorrow, and we need books, you know, the usual. Nothing new there, uh, for sure. Um, so let's go this way and maybe just go do a house or something really quick. We'll go off this direction. Um, it can't be, you know, I mean, some of these houses can take a really long time, so it can't be something too substantial. Um, maybe this, I think, doesn't this house and this barn Aren't they interconnected with, like, a big underground area? I don't know if we have time to do that. Well, let's let's try it. 
Let's just try it. All right. I'm not even going to really try and follow a path per se. I don't even know what the path is. Oh, that's the path. Okay. Well, yeah, let's follow the path, but we're going to we're going to move quickly. Nice bookshelf. Ooh, there we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. Um, at some point, I'm going to need to repair the shotgun, too. I'd like to... Hopefully, we can do it um, at the base and not have to use a repair kit. But if we have to use a repair kit, we have to use a repair kit. All right, let's go into here. Um, we're going to do very selective looting, too. Anything that gives us a chance of getting research data, that's really what I'm after more than almost anything else here. All right, there's probably going to be a Zeke in there, and there is a Zombo over that way. Can we... Well, we can't see if there's anybody in there. Okay, let's just get up here. I've done this POI once or twice, but I'm not super familiar with it, so... Shit. Okay. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Here's our crossbow bolt, too. That's the silver lining right there. Um, oh, I guess that wasn't a zombo. It's just a picture. What do you know? All right, let's go down here. Nobody there. Probably somebody in there. Okay, let's give him a sneaky sneak shot. And I was going to say, I think there's a buddy next to him, or a big mama, as the case may be. Formerly known as Big Mama. Now known as Headless Big Mama. Got a battery there. And let's make sure this is reloaded. Make sure this is reloaded. Um, we didn't recover our crossbow bolt, unfortunately, from that deal, so it is what it is. And what's up with all the ladders in this place? Up and down, up and down. No, we just came down this way. Okay, we gotta go this way. Um, out the window. Vultures? All right, they probably want us to go that way, I'm guessing. Because that window's blocked, and that window's blocked. Okay, let's go that way. Close that door. Wood splitter mod. Um, We can put this on a chainsaw, can't we? We might already have this, though. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take it. But we're not going to scrap it until I can confirm that I already have one. I think that I do, but I can't say for 100% certainty that I do. Okay. A little blockage there. We can't get in that room. This is... Yeah, I was going to say, that's a little sus. Can we get up in there? Oh. No zombo in there. They probably would have come out after us anyways. There's a little medical pile and a medicine cabinet with some steroids. We'll take it. Okay. Let's head on downstairs here. Nice little stained glass option. Option. Action. Let's just take Marlene out with our sledge here. She's done been taken out. That door doesn't open. Alright, 
before we go that way, let's look over here. There's a, a wall safe in that room. I'm assuming we'll come around to it from this side, so let's just keep following the path for the moment. Oh, shit! Hold still! It's rude to not hold still so I can blow your head off with a 12 gauge. What's the matter with you people? Uh, semi-trigger burst. I don't really like the semi-burst, so we're going to scrap that. It definitely has, has its uses with the right weapon, but I'm not a fan. I'm kind of a spray-and-pray kind of guy, or a single-shot kind of guy. Ooh, nice. Grandpa's awesome sauce. That was a nice find. We will take it. Okay, let's go this way. Wait, didn't we just come this way? Yeah, we did. We came in through here, and we got to go this way. All right, well, how do we get to that room then? Okay, hold on. Come back this way. Um, this room. I'm sure we will get to it later, but I'm just doing it right now. Well, maybe we would. I don't know how else we would have gotten in here. Okay, let's see what's inside the safe. Counterclockwise for the win. Okay. Purple stun baton. We're going to leave the rest of that stuff there. And now we go this way. Into the basement. Secret skill has improved. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Sneaky, sneaky zomba doodles. There's something behind that. Never mind. You guys just thought I said there was something behind that. I never actually did, though. Um, are we going to be going in here later? Ooh, look at that. Dispatched. Steel arrowheads. We'll take that. Anything interesting behind here? Some mushroom seeds. That just goes outside, right? In case we need a quick getaway. Uh, where's our bike at? Bike is that way. Okay. Into the tunnel. This will come out into the barn, as I recall. Thing down there? Doesn't look like it. Okay.
How many zombos are we dealing with? Probably enough for an M60. Okay, is that everybody? Hello, zombos! I think that's everybody. Anything in there? The way out. This is locked. Let's see what's in here. Maybe we'll find a really good tool. There we go. Repair kit doesn't suck. Don't care about the paintbrush. Um, okay. Let's go up here. Don't think there's really anything particularly useful over here, but the fat loots are up at the top. I didn't bring any extra eye candies with me either, but whatever. The loot sucks so bad anyways, it doesn't seem to make a difference. Seriously? <laughs> it's empty? What the hell? Oh, you know why? Because because we didn't do the quest. Okay, yeah, never mind. Oh, either that or maybe we've been up here. Yeah, we must have come up here because these boxes are all empty too. We must have come up here a long time ago. All right. That explains it. I I was going to say at first I thought it was that way because we didn't, you know, you know, really start the quest properly but I think it, I think we actually looted the fat loots here at some point in the past and I just completely forgot about it okay well let's see we got um we got 100 research data and potentially another 50 if I do in fact have that so you know it was okay for a quick a quick run at the very end here Lecture extra Lutsky's there, too. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. And then, like I said, the plan for the next episode, and actually, it'll probably be the next three episodes, because usually it takes me about three episodes to do a Tier 5. Um, we will do the Shamway Factory. Really looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are, too. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Ciao.